First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Dense fog covered the area this morning. There are still a few locations with a little bit of fog still hanging around. It's taking a lot longer to get rid of this uh, moisture boundary that's settling in around the surface. There's not enough sun out there just yet, not enough dry air mixing down to the ground. That will happen as we go through the afternoon. But then, after all of this, our attention is going to turn to warm, windy conditions and eventually maybe even a threat of severe weather as we get into Halloween on Thursday. In fact, here is the outlook for from the uh, Storm Prediction Center. Slight risk of severe weather for the entire WVKO viewing area on Thursday. We're looking at mainly Thursday afternoon and evening being the prime time as a Pretty powerful system for this time of the year comes uh, moving into the area. With that, we do have the 100% uh, certainty there will be rain and 100% certainty there will be strong winds. The uncertain part of this whole scenario is how much or what kind of severe weather will we have. Certainly damaging winds are a possibility, maybe even hail and then possibly even a few tornadoes. But that's not a guarantee, so we just want you at this point to give you the heads up, to know the weather before it knows you, to be prepared, get your weather radio, sign up for text alerts, and just be prepared for pretty much anything that could happen on Thursday. And of course, we will keep an eye on it here and give you updates as they become available. In the meantime, the here and now, here is live Doppler radar. You can see with the satellite view turned on, everybody is mainly cloudy, but once you get a little bit further south, Toward the Kentucky Tennessee border, we are beginning to see some breaks in the cloud cover, but it may take a little bit longer than expected to get some sun working in here today. Those clouds are keeping us at a cool 56 degrees. Here's a look at temperatures right now across the Kentucky Mesonet network. You can see where a little bit of sun is starting to come through, like down around the Dale Huddle Lake and Lake Cumberland areas. A little bit warmer, 64 down in Albany, 59 in Burksville, cooler, low to mid 50s off to the north of. Of us where the skies remain uh, fairly cloudy at this point. In fact, here is the view from our Doppler cam, as you saw a little bit earlier. Still cloudy here as you head further south, though, some breaks of sun trying to come through. 56 degrees currently, east southeasterly, wind at 6. Once we get a little bit of a breeze in here, that will help scour out some of the cloud cover that we're seeing. Here's the view from Litchfield, 57 degrees after a foggy start in Grayson County this morning. Munfordville is still cloudy, temperature at 57. Mammoth Cave National Park still seeing a little bit of a layer of fog there uh, down in the Green River Basin, 56 degrees. 57 at the Bowling Green Airport, warmer 60s where we're getting more of a southerly flow and some sunshine, but off to the north where we've had the fog and the clouds, temperatures are much cooler. In fact, we're two degrees cooler than we were at midday yesterday. Here's a look at the 12 hour radar, and you can notice the uh, big cluster of showers and thunderstorms. So notice how it just kind of gets eaten apart as it moves closer to Kentucky, all of that being absorbed by drier air that's starting to work in. This is a disturbance that's actually going to work into the area a little bit later this evening. A lot of this you see just west of us won't even make it into southern Kentucky, but the cloud cover certainly has, and that's keeping our temperatures down. This warm front will lift northward as we go through the nighttime, and then early tomorrow morning, late tonight, early tomorrow, that same disturbance will come through with just a little bit of rain, we think, over parts of south central Kentucky, especially off to the north, and then, then during the day tomorrow, mostly just warm and windy, and that's the perfect setup that we need for the possibility of some rough weather on Thursday. Here is the big storm that is going to cause some severe weather out in the plains. But uh, here's the certain part of this system. Rain is a certainty. Wind is a certainty. As I mentioned earlier, severe weather, what kind, how soon, how much, all of that's still questionable at this point, depending on when the storm arrives and what kind of a punch it's going to pack. Mostly cloudy for the rest of today. Isolated shower chance thrown in there. 65 down to 57 with an isolated shower tonight. And then tomorrow near 80 for a high temperature with a warm and windy conditions. 72 Thursday Halloween with the stormy conditions and 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Then cooler for the first weekend of November as temperatures only get up to about 57 by Sunday, and that is when we fall back one hour. We are back with more Midday Live in just a minute.